voté, assassin y a voté, or il y a vanté sa voix. Or sur y a voté, assassin y a voté, or il y a vanté sa voix. But a Hi, and welcome to the Music Empire. And in today's lesson, we are coming to take a look at a Ghanaian song, a Ghanaian praise song to be precise, known as Diwohine. Now, I can't attribute this song to a particular artist because. I don't even know where this song originated from, to be frank. But I believe you know the song I'm talking about from the cover you just listened to, right? Yes. So that's the song we are coming to take a look at. Or we are coming to learn today in today's lesson. Okay. So even before we start with today's lesson, you know, this is about Ghanaian praise. And Ghana praise songs, or as a keyboardist, you should know that Ghana praise songs is all about creativity. There is no specific formula apart from the basics that you have to know as a keyboardist and understanding the, the tradition or the culture. The rest is up to you. It's based on your own creativity as a result of the things you know or your experience on the keyboard. So in this lesson, what I'm coming to do is to share some, some one or two stuff with you based on my experience. So let's get started. Now, before we start this lesson, let's take a look at the key and the scale of that key first. We are in the key of G, so let's take a look at the scale of G first. Now, G becomes my 1, or Do. A becomes my 2, or Re. And then B becomes my 3, or Mi. Then uh, C becomes my 4, or Fa. D becomes my So, or 5. happen is I might be interchanging these two things the tonic so far and the number system so when I say fa you should know that it's four or when I say five you should know that I'm talking about so now the melody of the song is very simple so uh, so it's like uh, now I'll play it slowly so that you can watch and then learn assign the bass note to the melody I just did right now for you to know uh, the progression so this is so one so the also here was is from one to the three and then four So like I told you, we talk about creativity. So let's see. Let's assign some chords to the melody that we did. Then um so, so on the one I have the basic one. Then the four. I want you to play this uh, 13th chord. So on the four, I want you to play this C 13th chord. And you can see that on my right hand, I have the B flat, E, and E, right? Or the more, or the flat three, and then the six, or the La, and then the Re. Now I like playing this. Bass is just the number itself. On the 
right hand I have the two five one or re solo. Okay. So I'm back to the three again. So now on this three, it's basically a three on my bass notes and then a five or a so on my right hand. But I'm playing two inversions of the soul, the root chord and the first inversion. So I have the D, F sharp, A, D. Right? So. Let's see some substitutions we can do to the course I just played. Okay, so these are some of the substitutions you can do to the song. So let me show you a few of these substitutions. So now in this lesson, I want to make sure that everybody gets his share, whether you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced player. Okay, so on the one, we can substitute it with this chord. Okay, so on my left, I have the one and the flat seven, or G and F, or do tone. And then on my right hand, I have the Mi, La, then D, Mi, or uh, the three, six, flat two, the three. So this is a very nice one chord I like. So instead of playing this, you can just do playing a four. Now, after playing a four, after at, uh, at the asase or the part, after playing the four, okay. So let's do this substitution. Now here's a V chord or flat five, and on my right hand I just have the three. So you see, even with just the melody, I'm being very creative with what I know, with, with some few passing chords that I know, you see. So, uh, see then, uh, sorry. To the two. Now on my two, I have the two, six, one. And I have the three, four, six, one, or oh, me, five, I do. This is a very nice two chord. So, so Ranty. Then, so one that says it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's just an F sharp chord over the seven. Play the F sharp major chord. Two, 
to this chord, which is an F sharp major ninth chord over the G bass of itself. Okay. So um, you see, normally with with, with Ghana praises, uh, the the singer sometimes the singer may sing a slow line or first, then the drama will rule and then the 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 tempo itself will now begin. So in that part, that's this is one of the chords you can play. Then, then. We are now getting into the main song itself. Let's see some of the things we can do. Now that we know the main progression and we know the chords and even we know some passing chords as well. So let's see what we can do to the main song some of the things we can do to the main song okay so um i remember doing that now this is especially for those who don't have a bass guitarist at their church and they have to play you see if you don't have a bass guitarist at your church then it means you have to play the bass notes by yourself so this is some of the things you can do so uh, on the one Going to the four directly, you can do the solato or five to the flat seven. For the four, and on the four chord, look at what I have. I have a flat three, six, and one, or the more and the la and the do, right? And then I remember playing this. Uh, I did. Um, Sorry, I would just ask you what So, uh, four to the three. Now, on the three, I have a D major chord over the E bass notes, or I have a sol chord over the Mi, and then take this whole chord down by half step or by semitone. So, so just drag, so just just drop all of these down by semitone. And then even to the two. Okay. So this is a very nice progression that we used to go to the two. Most most of them are doing praises like uh, Okay, so something like this. Yeah, so mostly if I'm going to the ray or two, you know it's like almost every Ghanaian prayer song has a ray in, in it. So anytime you want to go to the two, just do. So this is over the two, right? So start from your soul. Yeah, just do this movement. It's a very nice and sweet movement. And it's very simple to play as well. Okay, to the five. Uh, so, and then... everything I played well like I said it's a matter of creativity so uh, okay uh, yeah I remember I did I uh, so over here and um, they're all in variance is uh, a to the next or sorry I would in that space there I did a very short young ponce feel which was uh, yeah so I did something like this so let me show you what I did. So um, so on my right hand, okay, on my left, the left was basically a one, two, five. So one, one, two, five. Okay, one, one, or do, do, re, so. And then on my right hand, I did a. Uh, okay, so let's let's break that down. So what I did was one to the three or do mi to okay do mi to do or one three flat seven one again and I came to a two six so two to the six so it's um one to the three to the flat seven to the one again then I come to two to the six then you do four 
then I, I, I was supposed to come to the three, but you see. So it's very simple, but not that simple. It's, it's a little bit technical. So go ahead and give it a try. Let's try it slowly. You see, now, now have you noticed? Even me, the one who played it, I'm, I'm finding it difficult to play because uh, creativity comes naturally. But right now, I have to recall and then teach. Now, you see, it's becoming very difficult. So, I'm going to give it a try and then now slowly add the left hand to it and very slowly and practice till your hands become used to it. So, let, let's try it slowly and see. So, look at it. So, these, the, these two ones will start together like and then the three and the and then the three and the flat seven will follow. So, before the next one of the left hand will come. Okay, so so just try this for now. So then go to the two. So after playing, see we have right. So after playing the one, after playing this whole thing, before the two will come on the left hand. So it's basically this. It's basically so practice it as slow as you can to get used to it. Okay, so uh, uh slowly to get it now you can apply this in any Ghanaian music when the song ends and in in any Ghanaian music uh, during that little space where the song where where one lyric will end to the next lyric or when the song will end to the next part or when one part of the song will end to the next part you can always put this there okay so from here yeah what did I do again Okay. Uh, so so now let's take a look at the chorus. Okay, so the D way in it, we know that it's just a basic one, four, five progression, right? On the left, you should know that it's on the three or on the me. But on the right hand, I have my, I have the do mi la, right, or the one three six. Now take this one three six down by semitone, and then again take it down by another semitone. Okay, so okay, and so now, so over the three. Bass line with my left hand. Okay, 
so so let's take a look at the bass line so over the one so it's a very simple bass line uh, so do so you see you see what i'm doing with the octave do so do do so do same thing or this same principle to, to the far bass notes or, or, or the four bass notes so on the four bass notes because our 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 voice c we have to interpret what we did on the one in the key of c or what we did what we did on the g in the key of c so you see on the on the g what did we do we do right now, so let's do the same thing in the key of C. So if, if you're in the key of C, this is the scale of C. Right? Now, if this is the scale of C, then this is your do. So you do the same thing. Okay? So. Hand exercise for uh, playing bass on the keyboard. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing on the D, the D notes. So we see this the scale of D, which makes this guy our tall, the C our tall. So let's do the same thing on the key of D, which is of course a five. Also in the key of G. Remember, we are still in the key of G. We haven't. Uh, going to C or D. But the thing is the C is the far of what the key of G, right? And then the D is the soul of the key of G. So you have to interpret it in that manner. So you do okay yeah so we have this one too as well. So if I feel so 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 do do mi fa fi so do mi fa fi so and I just add your your chord to it. That's also remember we learned this chord as our four, right? Now I'm playing the same chord in the key of D. So instead of playing the soul like this. With this one and then play it on the file okay. to give it a little bit of variation. So. Sorry. Okay, so so that's that that is for the D O in the part. That is it for the for this song. I hope you learned some uh, one or two stuff from this lesson to add to your chord vocabulary when it comes to Ghanaian praises. Yeah. So as time goes on, we'll be learning a whole lot of things. Now, I, like like what I said in the earlier lesson, keep listening to Ghanaian music, uh, live bands, and all those things. There are a lot of these stuff. You will hear a whole lot. Now, I wouldn't really advise you to listen to one person. Um, consistently and then become a carbon copy of that person uh, that is really not my style uh, the thing is we have all been given the ability to become unique as we are but then we have to learn from people so i can even tell you see so the thing is i was not born with uh, courts i learned it from people i've learned a whole lot of things from countless people now I bring all these things together and then I create something on my own. So you can also do the same. Keep listening to live bands, local gospels, everything Ghanaian. And then come up with your own style of play. And that will make you unique as you. 
so thank you very much for staying with me in this lesson i hope you enjoyed it now give it a thumbs like if you enjoyed this, this lesson and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and also you can put down comments like what do you think about this lesson and if we should continue also making more Ghanaian songs okay and god bless you i hope you take this thing to church take everything that we have done here to church because remember we are spreading the gospel of our lord jesus christ through the talent he has given us always don't forget this okay so god bless you and let's meet in our next lesson Do you